This is Daniel from Visionary Teaching, and I am going to show you how to draw a simple speech bubble or thought bubble in either Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Now, many of you probably already know how to do this, and if you don't, it is, it's the same as inserting any other shape. So I am in PowerPoint right here. I'm in my home bar. I am going to select Shapes and I'm going to scroll down to callouts. That's where you will find a bunch of speech bubbles and we even have this thought bubble here. So I selected that. I'm going to hold left click drag and there we go. Now a problem that I see here it, it by default has a dark blue background which might be kind of hard for your students to write on if you print this out. So I'm going to right click format shape and I'm going to change it to no fill. You could also put any color fill that you choose. I also, pers by personal preference, like to have the black background, the black line rather, and I like to make it nice and thick here on the width, almost a cartoony look. So there you have that. So knowing this, if you have a printer and some paper, you can make as many different call outs as many different speech and thought bubbles as would make your heart content. Now for your students who would prefer to type, let's see I've already selected a nice piece of clip art here that we could use for maybe social studies class or literacy class and let's set this up so a student who types could tell us what Abraham Lincoln might be saying. So same thing, we are going to go to shapes, we're going to go to callouts, and I'm going to pick this speech bubble right here. As before, I'm going to format the shape, no fill, and a nice thick black line. Great. Now, you will notice here that this little part of a triangle piece is not facing the right way so simply highlight the shape pick the yellow square and you can left click hold and drag it wherever you want now to let students type in this we are going to insert text box and you can drag and open the text box we will go to home and pick a nice big font to write with. And then a student could complete a writing activity. Let's see, I established Thanksgiving as a national holiday, which is true, by the way. So a student could put that in there. And then just knowing how to insert clip art and create these speech bubbles your students could do any number of assignments make comic books dialogue and it is that simple so enjoy that and happy teaching